Runk. <laughs> Anthony, dude, the pressure's on. Uh, hey, you've done it before, right? Yeah, but the pressure's on. No, the pressure's on. You've done it before, but the pressure's on. Pressure's the pressure's on again. really, really on Anthony right now. Anthony's flying solo. Our producer is missing in action. He's been missing for several days. We don't know where he is. Uh, <coughs> keep him in our prayers. None of that's true. None of that's true, but... It's Easter. That's true. Easter? Oh, well, how about this? Happy Easter, and there's going to be a Lifeline live show uh, in Irvine, May 14th. You can get tickets at watchlifeline.com or my website, chrisley.com, and uh, come and uh, ask us some questions in person. I'm shaking my head because it's going to be so, so sick, so good, uh, so lit, Okay. so rizzed out. No, that's right? not part. That's not something that you would say about. That's not okay. a correct term to use for that. Okay. Um, but you can go on our patreon.com slash lifeline luxury uh, to check out our show, Lifeline Luxury, that man I have, where we are just kind of, it's just kind of a, me and him talking. <laughs> and it's not taking what? It's, we don't take submissions, but we sometimes things come up on this show that we're like, it's not really fit for this show. So we move it over there and that's yeah. where the conversation really goes off just between yeah. just between us. And that's yeah. what's up. So sign yeah. up over on patreon.com slash lifestyle luxury <laughs> if you haven't already. So going over also to check Matt's uh, podcast, Private Record. Uh, go subscribe over there, Private Record. And uh, if you've got a question, go to um, watchlifeline.com or you have a thing for us. And yeah, if you uh, want to submit yourself for this show, go to watchlifeline.com. Yeah. If you want a one on one private session with me, go to mattedlia.com. Bing, bang, bing, bang, booyah, booyah, and right. booyah. There you go. And of course, get the merch at lifelinemerch.com. I, um, I was, you know, I had a fever for three days. Mm hmm. And I don't anymore. Mm hmm. And it was weird. Mm hmm. I just had it for three mm -hmm. days. Mm hmm. And uh, it, it, it was nothing but a fever and a headache. Nothing but a fever and a headache. I love that American song. It's a really good American song. <clears throat> but um, yeah. So and then uh, I'm just happy, man. I'm happy it's not around anymore. You got sick for such a short period of time. You're so lucky. Well, you it was take three good days. care of yourself or what? Yeah, I rarely get sick. Even considering I'm a dad with kids and a family, yeah. I, I even that's crazy. It's weird. I used to. I mean, as you know, mm -hmm. and as a lot of you know, I used to get sick all the time. I was I was kind of just sick. Always. You're kind of just sick with it. I mean, I'm, I've always been sick with it, still am, but I'm talking about illness, actual illness, sickness, and I don't really get sick anymore either. But you know what? The number one thing that absolutely helps is sleep. It's There's nothing that helps me more. I, I got to sleep. was not now. sleeping <clears throat> enough, and, that, and then I would get sick, and then I was like, why don't I just change this? And I just didn't get sick anymore it was is it was, it was, it, it's like a miracle you've been able always always been able to sleep yeah. more than i can yeah 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 ever since i you know became an adult basically yeah. i can't sleep i cannot sleep more than seven hours yeah. and even when i do i feel like kredinsky the oh, whole yeah, next day yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just like spaced out i feel yeah. loopy it's I, I like can't drink enough coffee to get my mind going uh -huh. it's so, like if i get eight hours yeah, I need like four hours just to wake up, which is how I feel right now. But use four hours to wake up; it's better than being sick. Of course, but like, who has that amount of time in a day? It's only twenty hours all day. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you kind of have a good deal going with what your job my life is, with, though. Yeah, I made it's amazing. It my life. Yeah. yeah, so but I used to think, oh, I got to fly out the day of and go early, and I just changed that to wait. I can go the day before, not take the earliest flight. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not home th that day, and that sucks. But and now it might be a little different because, like now, like next weekend, I have uh, Grand Rap or this weekend, the next one, I have Grand Rapids and Saginaw. <laughs> Go get tickets, Chrisley .com. Not just Saginaw, we have them all flagging out, right? Yeah. Well, and then uh, Nanaimo and Victoria. Made BC it up. And Augusta. Wait, we, these are the ones I need to push. Is North Charleston? These ones I've never been to. North Charleston, South Carolina, uh, uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, uh, Ch Chattanooga. Charleston, West Virginia. 
Des Moines and Green Bay. Green Bay? No, I don't know. I don't yeah, remember. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> if no, you're but a Packers so, fan, you're going to love his comedy. So make sure you do both. Yeah. You go to a Packers game and you see my I don't know if they're in season, but... Uh, no, they're both... Both things are really popular. Comedy's in, in season, I'll tell you that much. But uh, <laughs> no, so I go to Christie.com to get tickets. Come see me in, in Grand Rapids and Saginaw. But I, so I have a, a show on that Thursday. And I'm, I'm like, I, I, I get back now Sunday today. I get back today. I get back today. And then I have to leave on Wednesday to get to the Thursday. But now I'm like, I'm a dad. So I don't want to, I don't want to. You want to be home as much exactly. As yeah. So now I might start taking earlier flights and I might just get sick more. And blame it on the kids, honestly. Well, you get sick all the time. I mean, not you, but people. The one thing, it's so annoying because people mm. who have kids say this all the time yeah. to people with kids, without mm. kids, to anyone who will listen, anybody who won't listen, because mm. nobody listens when they say this, but they still say it. Nobody anyway. listens. Period. Yeah, that's true. They say, "Well, I hope you're ready to say goodbye to sleep." One. Right. And then I and then they say something, some version of, "I hope you're 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 okay with getting sick all the time." Right, right, right. Bye, to the first one. Mm. See you to the second one. Well, honestly, I don't even listen to them. I never heard that because I don't listen to them. You've never heard a parent say that because I don't listen. I'm kidding, bro. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, oh. But oh, wait. Oh, cool. let, so I'm. <clears throat> I did get a lot of sleep last night, and I'm zonked, bro. Yeah, that's <clears throat> how I feel <clears throat> on not even a lot of sleep. <clears throat> and the good so thing cool. is, I ate. I think it's, it might be a dairy thing. I ate some eggs. And now I'm all, I got it all coming up in my in my body. Yes, dude. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I saw Zone of Interest last night. Did you see it? I've seen Zone of Interest. You have? Yeah, I saw it in the theater. Oh, I didn't know you saw it in the theater. What are you going to do about that? Well, in that case, I'd like to take a detour of this conversation and ask you what you thought about it in in the theater too. And <clears throat> why did you go see it in the theater? <clears throat> it's about Nazis. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know, it's about Nazis. So, I'm a big fan of Jonathan Glazer, the director. I don't like Underneath the Skin. That's cool, because that's not a movie. It's called Under the Skin. So, he made... as My you, mom did. Do you know what else he made? Yes. What? Uh, uh, he made other movies I do know, but I can't remember. Sexy Beast. Right. So, that's, Sexy that's Beast movie. was his first that's movie. That's a great movie. And you took yeah. me to that in yeah. Pasadena. I had no idea what it was. It was one of the best theater experiences of my life. Yeah. Specifically because I hadn't seen a trailer. I didn't even know what the movie was. I was young. Oh, cool. I was like 15. Well, I want to see Birth. And it was, it's such a good movie. I've seen it so many times since then. That was my introduction to Jonathan Glazer. And I was probably your introduction to the guy. What's his name? Ray Winston? Ray Winston? Yeah. Uh, no. No, he's, I mean, yeah, anyway. maybe, maybe. Okay. But anyway, uh, then he did Birth. Did birth, you like Birth? Birth is sick. I gotta watch People that. hate Birth, but yeah, I think I it's great. I wanna watch it. Uh, like it. And then he did, did like Under the Under Skin. The skin. Yeah, like I it? like Under the Skin. Mm -hmm. I'm not like... It's too much. I know people who are like... I have good friends who yeah, are people like... people love it. Crazy Yeah, about I it. know. Yeah. Like on a on like a Kubrick level almost. People are just oh, like really? crazy about yeah. the movie. And then he did Zone of Interest. Zone of Interest... Way different than the others. You think so? I mean... Well, way different than Under the Skin. Nah. And sexy beast. Sexy beast is the one that stands out to me. Okay. The rest are like very clearly I just guess art a, films. Yeah, except for the fact that it's just weird. There's no close-ups in Zone of Interest. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the whole. I understand that was on purpose, and it yeah. was very well done. Yeah. But yeah. Go, okay. Go. I like Zone of Interest. I made the mistake of being thinking I was going to love it because mm. it's such a kind of movie I would like. Yeah. I, True. No, the book. I, about that, I like the book. Oh, really? Yeah. It's. I mean, it's very. It's, it's I didn't not, expect it to be like the book. It's not like the book. Yeah. <clears throat> didn't read it. You know. No, uh, but I know. I know what oh, the book's okay. about. And uh, it's it's super well made. I just thought there's some stuff about it that was like, not milk toast, but you know, it didn't grab me by the nuts and twist. You oh, know really? what I'm saying? And I needed this movie to succeed in cranking your to 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 grab me by the nuts twist. Really? Crank yank. You needed all that? And make me go, oh. why, why did you need that? Because it's the kind of movie that should grab your nuts and twist. Because it's about make what you it's go, about. Oh. Yeah, exactly. So and this one kind of just peters out, fizzled out for me. It didn't didn't okay. quite but make did, me go, did, oh. you, did Okay, but did Schindler's List grab your cr nuts and twist your crank? Not the same thing. Didn't, I never Schindler's saw Schindler's List made me cry. And, right. And but it's like, different oh, though, right? Oh, no. I, know, I, know. I didn't you know? see it. 
very i mean they couldn't be more different i know that i do know that i heard steven spielberg mm-hmm. say something about zone of interest something along the lines i forget exactly mm-hmm. what it was he but he loved it he was mm-hmm. like it's the best holocaust movie i've seen in x amount of time i don't know i think that uh first of all i was surprised it was even made mm-hmm. then i realized that the director's jewish oh so I mean, if the guy was not jewish you couldn't make that movie there's no way that hollywood would let that happen people tend to have different rules around jewish people for whatever reason but well, yeah. i'm just saying it was like it would be like i never even I, I i never even thought that and i didn't even know jonathan glazer was jewish oh, honestly really yeah. i looked it up because like, yeah. he has to be jewish because i was like because sure, well, yeah. at first i was like how did they make this movie and it's not like they're trying to sim- they're trying to make you sympathetic to nazis it's no, just not that at all it, yeah. not at all but but you still it, it it shows them as human sure which is a yeah. weird thing to even say that yeah, but it's also showing them as more monsters than any other. Movie no, no, no. In the I know, I know. Has. But the banality of evil. But, but, exactly. But, yeah. But but um, but uh, oh. that movie really stuck with me. It was oh, crazy. that's what he said. What he said? He thinks it's the best Holocaust film since Schindler's List. Uh, I so cock. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. So yeah. cock. That's really that's funny. like Kanye West shit. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, that's hilarious. Wait, he said that. Kanye Spielberg. Oh, so cock. That's really funny. That's so funny that like Jonathan, what's his name? Jonathan Glazer? Yep. He's probably like, he probably thinks it sucks. He know? probably thinks Shinners this is, is <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, who knows? But the sound <laughs> design of that movie and the, the, the. The sound design is interesting because unlike any other movie ever, r- regular people will be like, the sound design was really interesting. Like what? Yeah. Because it was so obvious, but, but it's weird. How, I mean, this isn't a film. This isn't a film. Podcast, yeah but, it's not but so. it was just so f- crazy because i didn't really go into it knowing anything about the sound design knowing anything about it and i'm watching it, i'm like why are they doing it i can't fucking hear the people mm. and like i was getting kind of pissed but then i was like but then i was like what's that what are those noises in the background and then I, that was it so it's uh, like oh fuck it like got seeped you. in yeah you got you yeah, yeah you got you good as yeah fuck bro yeah Anyway, it's great. great and the movie. end of the movie is crazy to me. But anyway. Great movie, but it didn't really make me go, ah, after it, it, grabbing I, I would, me by the nuts and twisted it. I would say it grabbed me by the nuts and it twisted it. And you went, ah? Kind of. I okay. mean, w- w- when it showed the shot of him from here and he was just in his soldier uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That kind of grabbed me by the nuts and. You went, ah. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that's good. It's a good rating system, what we just came up with. Grab me by the nuts and, ah. <laughs> would you say <laughs> oh, you went full, ah? I didn't go full up. I would say I went full up. My problem with the movie is that I didn't go full up, but I was like, oh, you know? But okay. I wasn't like, ah! So you give it an oh. Yeah. Not an ah! Yeah. yeah I yeah. give it an ah! Right, 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 right. I give that and um, speak no evil. Ah! Right. right. You're going to hurt our throats so bad <laughs> doing this. <laughs> Rock stars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's do submissions right, before okay, we okay. make this a movie You don't want to talk about anything okay. In Zone of Vitures. Oh my <laughs> God, that's hilarious. <laughs> Start it over. Chicken in from Sweden here. I mean, in zone of, in interest, zone of interest, dude. Wow. He looks so much like a Nazi. It's crazy. In 1944. Yeah. Ah. No, no, no. No, Anthony, you're fucking up. Nope. Wow, you fuck up on the regular, huh? <laughs> hey, <what's up? laughs> he laughed at that. Yeah. Chicken in from Sweden here. Okay. Just out of the shower after a long day of work. Taking in some evening sun. I'll get right to it. Don't oh, my worry. God. Is the yeah. right or the wrong way to text. Uh, when I'm retelling something, something funny that I've seen to, to friends over text, uh-huh. I will send maybe sometimes up to 10 messages in right. rapid se- succession. Retelling what happened. I won't send one big blob of text with yes. the whole story, but I'll do it sequentially yes. as I'm speaking. You're, sentence, sentence, you're sentence, right. sentence. And I feel this makes it more funny. Yes, you're right. When you say a joke, you don't just... <laughs> Why is he laughing so much? But yeah, blur out the whole joke. You do it. You have a drama to it, a curve, and you get the crescendo and the punchline. This guy's great. Yeah, you get what I mean. Now, is that a dick that people think I'm calling them when I'm bombarding them with texts? Or is it okay because I'm trying to be funny and, and maybe give them a laugh? Okay, that's it. Big love from Sweden to Chris, Matt, Marco, and also Chris. Okay. Bye, guys. Awesome. Love this guy. Mm-hmm. That's kind of my favorite person that's ever submitted to the so, show. So he brings up a good point, though, man, because there's positive and negatives to both, man. But let me just real quick. Yeah. Everyone from Sweden has, like, a birthmark right here, you know? I know. And he had it right there, and I that's know. all I wanted to say. They okay. all have it. But, yeah. I – go ahead. You go first. Well, it's just like I understand you're saying yes because you do that. You'll go – that, 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 that. And I appreciate that from you. It's important. 
to do it that but way. I believe. You, yeah. But don't you have other friends that do it and you're like, all right, when's the next oh, one coming? All right, come on. Like, of course, but it's just like, you know, uh, unfunny people don't make a funny person change the way they no, do stuff. I, I understand, but it's not that it's unfunny. Oh. It's that it's annoying. How, it's, it's, uh, on its face, it's annoying. I actually don't understand why. Why is so, it annoying? Because, because your phone keeps going off? Yeah. And I, then oh, oh, oh. it's even annoying to look. Oh, I got 17 messages? I put, That's terrifying. I put everyone that text that I text with a lot on do not disturb. Every single person I text with a lot not is, is silence. Not me. Not you what? Do you put up me? No, not just you. But you and I solo don't text a lot. So it, I don't have right, to. Right, right, right. Gotcha. We wait, text wait. a lot on threads with other people but like if the did, lifeline text chat mute would you put would you mute me if i texted you more i would oh. never mute you okay then no right no but, the right I, but 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 what would you but would you i know? don't know try it and we'll see well now you know i would never do it so you probably won't ever do yeah, it yeah now i probably won't yeah i blew my load but i <clears throat> you fucked it up yeah i feel like i f but here's the other thing okay so so actually here's here to me this is the, this is great because if you have all of a sudden, 17 messages. And you look, you say, I have 17 messages. Anxi anxiety in your, in your, of course, right? Like, ah, dude, I don't know. Because I'm, I get that. This is not like, I, you're, you're, I'm just you're, on a lot of threads so right that, that I always have. Okay. I, right now, I so guarantee you popular. I have at least 17 texts right now since we started the show. You know? I'm going to look. Watch, I have zero. How many do you have? 12. So I was close. Whoa. <clears throat> okay. All right. So that's a little different maybe, but I, because I don't. But, uh, I'm very popular though. <laughs> maybe, maybe a lot of people don't have my number, but, um, so, so you, so, okay. So I think for a normal, or for, I'll just say for me, 20 texts, I look at my thing, 20 texts, a little bit of some anxiety at least. Okay. Okay. I, I, I but then I, I, it, I, yeah. I, then I immediately go to, ah, somebody's probably doing one of those things where they're telling a story with a yeah. thing or a group text, right? Or people are in an argument on a group text. Except for my group texts are on silent. Uh, anyway, whatever. Okay. That's neither here nor there. Whatever. Yeah. So. If you do it all in one, one text, no anxiety, okay. open it up, you see that, then you get the anxiety. Oh, I see. So, you're, so it's, it's almost like a lesser of two evils, like which anxiety do you want? Do you want it when you look at your phone or do you want it when you open it up and see the fucking the whole, the, you know, the story of Moby Dick? I guess if I got, an, if I got anxiety right. from that, I would rather the latter, but I don't, so it doesn't matter to You'd me. rather the latter. Right. I, yeah. If it gave me anxiety, I'd rather have it I'd, I'd, only I'd get it by looking at the actual text. Yeah. Yeah. And then, the, but then there's people that text me that do the rapid fire thing that I'm just like, I hope they're done now because I don't even want to listen to this story. Because the good thing about the one long thing is you start reading it, you're like, oh, this sucks. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to, I'm done. But here's the thing mute. Then the rest of the conversation, you know, I guess, for. I guess, no, uh, do not disturb is so, yeah, I found yeah, yeah. so underutilized by oh, people that I know. Yeah. D get in there, just swipe and tap. That's all you got to do. It's so easy. How long and, is too long of a text for you, Chris? Anything more than like two, two short paragraphs. You sent a pretty long text last night. Yeah, Did yeah, you? yeah, yeah, but it oh, was necessary. Right. Yeah, well, that was a joke, though, right? It was. Yeah, it was necessary. Hold on, necessary, I'll, I'll you know. I'll read it. The dumbest text you've anybody's ever sent. <laughs> but go ahead. It is always a simple matter to drag people along, whether it is a democracy or a fascist dictatorship or a parliament or a communist dictatorship. Voice or no voice, the people can always be brought to the bidding of the leaders. This is easy. All you have to do is tell them they are being attacked and denounce the pacifists for lack of patriotism and exposing the country to danger. It works the same in every country. And then I wrote, anyway, good night. Anyway is my favorite part <laughs> because it's a second text. But so, but that's true. And also like, you know, uh, yeah, it was at 1.30 1 1 a.m. Yeah, exactly. But, I, <laughs> but you know, that, that, that's a, that, that, that I would say anything longer than that is too long because that, that's not too long. I send a really long text, but I break them up and I think I do it the right way. So breaking my, them up is actually pretty key. Yeah, my response to this guy is... Full what he's board, doing is right, yeah. One hundred percent, the way he does it is correct. People that are like, "Oh, it's annoying." Oh, it's, shut the fuck up. Put it on mute if you don't like it. Whatever. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, deal with. I agree. It. I agree pretty much with, with if you guys. If it's a good story, 
as I would believe this guy's telling, this guy seems amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. I yeah. would listen to this guy tell any story. Yeah, true. Uh, even though he has no upper but, lip. Here's what I. Yeah, he doesn't. But I, <laughs> here's what I would like the most, though. Is here's what I like the most is that he thinks about it and has a way he does it. Mm -hmm. It's not just this mindless thing that he's doing. Mm -hmm. So I even if I were to not like that, mm. the way he, the 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 the. You think as long as someone's thinking it through. Yeah, and has their no, way I want to do it like this because yeah. it's better this way. Yeah. Even if I don't agree, I appreciate it. Uh -huh. yeah, but I'm a true artist. Yeah, uh, I'm a text artist. So, um, okay, that's that's good. Uh, yeah, but I I, I I I do agree with that thing that I texted last night because um, you can't agree with yourself. Well, I I think I pretty much it's not really an original thought. But my was it so, like a something someone said and you it just copied was it? Was text on a screen that I then translated into translated what was it in what language was it in? it was in english but I, I i took a picture of it and then copied the text from the picture you can do that on iphones i didn't that know that and then once i got it i i said absolutely it hilarious it wasn't even your thought no but you know <laughs> i do agree with it and i will say this so it does make sense to say you agree with it because it wasn't even your idea anthony do you agree with it Anthony doesn't know Shit. anything. So dude. here's the deal. I, dude, Anthony, you'll be like. So the end of Zone of Interest, too. Yeah, well, no, it wasn't the end of it, but it was something that I watched after Zone of Interest. Uh, to, oh, I Holocaust. see. So, but that, it's the truth. And then both sides are doing that, too, aren't they? Of course. They? Isn't that weird? No. In that way, it might. No. No matter what, that's dude, what. You have epiphanies that other people have known since they were 18. I know. And yeah. do you know what? That's important. You need to keep having those epiphanies. No, I'm saying you have them now at 43 when everyone else had them at 17 or 18 Now we're old. getting into dictator territory. <laughs> dictator territory. <laughs> no, but I'm saying I already knew that. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. But I realized it again. Okay. Realizing stuff again is the fucking absolute shit. Mm. And people don't do that enough. Mm. And I mean that. Mm. You're yelling. Yeah, I get it. I think, I mean, you're right. People forget important lessons because they they're so obvious that they never think about them again and therefore they never really like sink in a second time and that's not ideal is what you're saying you weren't listening he wasn't listening no i, I could tell I by the listening. way he was looking up over there i am listening because I'm, I'm, I'm processing it but also you know there's stuff that i think that I, you know you d d didn't know that i already knew <laughs> <laughs> there's stuff I didn't know that you already knew. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that like uh -huh. you say stuff, and I'm like, yeah, it's obvious, dude. Oh, so oh, oh I see. What it's you're like saying. you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least I'm realizing it again and not thinking it for the first time. I mean, like you, you say do. that all the time when I say stuff on this show. You're always like, yeah, that's obvious. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so I'm the smart one. No, 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 no. We all, um, we all know that. No. So anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I do think that's crazy though, because the right, you, you, your, your, your thought immediately is that the right does that. The, the the conservatives do that but then you're like liberals do that dude because you're like oh shit they make you feel like if you don't support the cause you're not going to be you, you know you're you're let me go to the <laughs> he's gonna read his own text again oh, look at this quote here okay so, so so think about this dude and, and guys be smart with me here all you have to do is tell them that they're being attacked and denounce the pacifists for lack of patriotism no well, obviously pacifist not. right makes me think that that person whoever that quote is from was specifically talking about a fascist yes. government right yes they were they were okay i'm sure they were i probably were uh pacifist for lack of patriotism and so exposing the country to danger and you wouldn't you know but but the, like you see this on twitter liberals do this okay not with the you know obviously remove the word passive remove the word wow remove the word pacifist no, remove the word patriotism or you know pacifist or you know exposing the country to danger it's just like it, it actually it, it the rules are all the same this is the rule book but that's yeah but you see you're still doing it. you're having the epiphany that everyone but i'm realizing knows, it again you know and also it doesn't matter what side you're on of course you think the other side does exactly that right that's why quotes like that are so universal yeah. fuck wow okay well, i wish we all knew that we do yeah innately we need to be realizing it again right. every year or so how about this every few episodes we will read that put quote that text <laughs> before the show it'll be lifeline it'll be the intro and then it'll be that text 
and then it'll, it'll be <laughs> followed by your text that says anyway whatever you say I think going this, to bed I think we need to stop talking about this quote. oh I fucking agree wholeheartedly so let's go to another submission shit the hey, man Matt, Chris uh, thank you guys so much for the advice um, and like all advice I decided not to take it <laughs> yeah that's true and instead show my wife the video of you guys talking about oh, you didn't know yeah. about that oh yeah what was um, it pause it she was at he's gonna say He's going to explain. It's uh it's isn't it the the uh Dr Pepper thing? Keep going. Okay. So pissed. Oh. At first. Uh and then about 20 minutes later, she looked at me and she's like, "You know what? That's actually pretty funny and I never knew I did that." Oh. So, and now she makes jokes about it. Now it's like it's just something that we joke about and it doesn't happen more. So, thank you guys so much. As a note, I was listening to that podcast um and my truck and trailer hit a patch of ice. I ran into a fire hydrant. And then um, when I turned the podcast back on, changing my flat tire and all the other stuff, I heard that my submission got put in. So Whoa, that's kind of, that's what kind of nice. Weird moment. Life rips. But what do you do? What was the thing you said? Thank you guys so much. Love your show. I didn't hear the last part. What do you mean you didn't hear the last part? Blah, 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 blah. It was quick. What did he say? He hit the fire hydrant and what? Oh, well, uh, he once he started putting the tire back on his car, he started listening to the podcast again. Yeah. Then he heard himself on the show. Oh. But I don't know what was it about. Wasn't it the one Dude, where we we have to stop this? When I remember when I said stop it, and you're like, no, keep going. Nobody knows what's happening for like three minutes. Okay. We have to we have to stop it. Be like, here's the recap. Then do it. Otherwise, the show makes no sense for three. Okay. Well, minutes. when we edit it, it'll be it'll make sense. How about that? Why? Because we'll put it in. We but can edit. Mako built this deck. I don't. The original. Exactly. He's not even here. I knew that. Yeah. So that's why. Well, that's I, the, that's, that's the main why problem. I said stop. That's the main problem. The main problem is nobody's listening to me. Uh, we're all listening to you, man. The main I problem also is. I don't remember. His I don't remember either. All right. What the Dr. Pepper? What the fuck? What are we gonna do? Also, the, we know what the most annoying part is. You know what the most annoying part is? No. Yesterday, Mako said, "Dude." The submissions are stacked today. Yeah, he did. Say this that. is the second one. We yeah. don't even remember what the fuck it is. No, you remember when he said that, Anthony? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, what, what, what the fuck's the Dr. Pepper thing? I got to change my beanie for that. <laughs> What's shit's, the Dr. Pepper thing? Mad Hold upsetting. on. Uh, the, well, I don't even know if that's the one, but there was something about. Well, he said Dr. Pepper, so I don't know what that is. He, he said, did. He said about the Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Oh wait, play it again. I didn't even hear him say that. I thought I said Dr. Oh, Pepper. This is, this is crazy. Off the rails. Right, this play is it the again, worst again, podcast we've ever done. Hey, Matt, and Chris, uh, thank you guys so much for the advice. Um, and like all advice, I decided not to take it, hmm. and instead show my wife the video of you guys talking about. You didn't know about that. Um, oh, she was eh, so pissed. It was me at first, uh, and then about twenty minutes later. She looked at me and she's like, you know what? That's actually pretty funny. And I never knew I did that. So, and now she makes jokes about it. Now it's like, it's just something that we joke about and it doesn't happen more. So thank you guys so much. It was me. As a note, I was listening to that podcast um, Hold and on, my truck it? and trailer hit a patch of... Did he say Dr. Pepper? No, I did. That's why you think he... This is crazy, dude. I said Dr. Pepper because I thought that was a submission he was referencing. He didn't say that. I thought you just said that you... I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> Let's Dude, ask him. What's happening? What do you mean? I mean, a few things are happening. So, which thing you're talking about? You said Dr. Pepper. I did. Yeah. I have a memory of him saying Dr. Well, Pepper. Well, that is you just you made up. that up. You made that right, part so that he up. set it up. All right. So I remember vaguely what it is. Oh, cool. It was bringing something up that he should have put a note with this fucking. Of thing. course, he should have. It was bringing up something that. How, how could he not put a fucking? How note could he? How could he expect us to, to know? I'm trying to find it he was bringing up something you know what the worst part is is that people watching this are going to know exactly what it is yeah. and we don't yeah 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 that's okay, bullshit okay so yeah. hold on now we have to find out he, he, it was something that his girlfriend didn't know she did and it, should he bring it up and tell her or not fucking I don't remember dude yeah we don't remember I vaguely have a feeling about it and I swear to god Mako's not going to answer his phone too that's the thing you texted him? He's not going to. Yeah, I texted him, yeah. And he said it was stacked to the gills. That's the thing that really pisses me off. No. We should honestly cut this out. No way. No? It's disrespectful. To who? Our audience. Why? 
Because they need to know what's going on. All right, we'll do an extra. And I'll tell you why it's disrespectful. You poked me so hard. I didn't mean to. <laughs> and I'll tell you why it's disrespectful. You really did. Though. I'll tell you why it's disrespectful to cut this out for the audience. I'll tell you why. I'm listening. And this is why I'm, I'm different. Okay, here we go. I, I know, but it really. Yeah. When we get pissed at Mako, uh -huh. and we get pissed at Anthony, uh -huh. I'll tell you right now, it's all right-sized. It's right-sized. Okay? Now. People don't see Anthony. People don't see Mako all the time. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, people think we're fucking dicks. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we cut this out, yeah. later on, something bubbles up. Yeah. And we unleash on Mako. Yeah, right, right. They're going to think we're dicks. And right. they're not even going to know about this backstory. Right. Oh, well, it just so happens that he said that the submissions were stacked to the gills. Right. And the second one, we didn't even know what it was about. Didn't even know. And he, and he didn't leave a note with it. Didn't leave a note. Didn't even think to leave a note. People at home go like this. Wow. Oh, he found it. That Mako really is a dick. He found it. Dude, Anthony, this is the coolest thing you've ever done. How is this guy, Paul? Hey, guys, quick How video. is this so guy, honestly... Eight years younger in this video. I don't understand why he looks so different. He's eight years younger in the video before. He went into the future and took this next one. The stress. He was too, too scared to say the, the thing. The stress of showing her aged him this much. <laughs> it's like when people become president. All right. So. Let's go. Um, my <laughs> wife does something that right. annoys the living hell out of me. Okay. Uh -oh. And I can't shit talk her for it because she's my wife i want to oh. love her well sure, okay, sure. Wait, okay, but the problem is no. any time no, that no. i that's annoying like have a matter of fact like oh i didn't know that oh, she okay. will claim that she does know that okay. for example i will look at a playground and be like i didn't know they had a really long slide oh. there and she's like you didn't know that oh no. and she does it on everything and the Crazy. thing that makes me the most mad is half the time i know she doesn't know that that specific park has a slide well, that's what makes it the worst but everything how, how do you know that what is a spin you move know. that i can do all right, Paul, all right. to yeah, right not be all right, we get honestly it. my hair if you said it was less than a 9.8 right there that's crazy i even think my hair looks good and i don't like when i do that with my hair i think my hair looks good your so hair looks good there. we had good hair that day um all right we're we're patched up the fact that mako unbelievable unbelievable do you think the worst part is that he said it was stacked to the gills and this is the second one though no i think that is just to me is just like <laughs> what the f what the fuck it's incredible dude? that is incredible but it just the simple i don't want to overlook the very simple okay. fact okay that he would put something in without context or note or even it's a heads up that it's about a specific like what who do you what do you think we are yeah. dude oh we're you know we are ai what are we just like machines with yeah like banked every dude. single fucking submission in our heads hey dude call me johnny five okay yeah chris five yeah you're chris dude, five chris you know what chris five matt five you know what this is an insane thing and 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 let me actually say this uh, you know to get into the weeds here because we're into the weeds we really are into the weeds we're under the soil we don't want to be but no, we're we don't want to be into the in weeds, the shit but, dude. but in a way we do want to be right because in a way this is the kind of shit this is what this podcast is about the inner workings of friendship mm. the inner workings of madness mm. the inner workings of when i'm pissed at somebody mm. everyone should know why and understand why and i'm not a dick for being that pissed i'll be honest <laughs> i don't think that's what this podcast is about and i don't think anyone has ever thought that's what this podcast is about if Kristen heard this podcast she would divorce me she'd be so mad okay well make sure she doesn't listen to this episode I will. then happy easter Kristen. uh stop listening I, 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 five I minutes just, ago it, uh, let me tell you also this if i heard this podcast this episode of this podcast lifeline mm -hmm. before any other episode of lifeline mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i would be like i would be a lifelong listener yeah you would listen to you'd go like this it would be your favorite podcast it would yeah, yeah 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 do you know that well you are in a club of one in that regard i'm pretty sure i guess my although it's a good just... no it's this is a good episode it's real as fuck dude. that's what i'm saying i just want the realness this is the realness this episode is the realness and that will be the title of the episode no into the weeds no this episode is the realness i think into the weeds is better i don't all right well it doesn't matter though it, whichever one it is well it'll be good right and if it's into the weeds ha ha <laughs> all right all right next one anyway, let's next see one. how stacked this fucking yeah show this one is. better be fucking what up chris and matt big fan of the show i killed uh, somebody he's <laughs> andrew santino here um had a quick comment for you guys uh you talked about certain smells of people giving you that boy you're going um uh. there's actually an evolutionary trait associated with it 
where you can smell what certain individuals are deficient in, um, i.e., uh, I could smell if my partner was low in vitamin D, and if I was also low in vitamin D, give that I D. could smell that, so it wouldn't uh, be beneficial for us to procreate. See? Now, I was that, that being said, am I in a lab coat? <laughs> no. Right. So it's, it's a fucking cock. Right. For right. me to try and no, sit here you're and say also, a bunch of shit I have no business yeah, talking yeah, I mean, about. Might as well make a TikTok. Um, so that right. leads into my question. Do you guys have any funny instances of your friends or family trying to tell you some stuff that they have no fucking business yeah, talking about? Are you kidding about? me? Do you have a mom? Thanks. Keep up the good work. Love the show. Thank well, you. My dude. mom well, does that, that just, so much yeah. that it, it, it definitely is her business now. Like she has no yeah. business talking about all the different kinds of cancer everyone we've ever yeah. known gets. She's an oncologist, but though. she's basically a cancer specialist now. now. She's an oncologist, and if she'd stop talking about people who got cancer, I'd be like, "Mom, what's wrong? Yeah, did you have a stroke? Yeah, why you stop? Why have you not brought up cancer in the last twenty five minutes? She, no, but we should say, I, just to be clear, certain smells of people give you that boing, which is, you know, sometimes you're really attracted. Like, like I say, my wife, there's something the way she smells. It's just intoxicating. And it's it gives me that boyoyoy, right? And that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. But I'm just saying I'm 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 you know I'm doing I'm realizing again, which is what is a good thing. What we decided Vince Vaughn. because of the thing. <laughs> I'm realizing again, which is a good thing. Okay. Because what what the thing is what I said about the zone of interest thing is what uh, is afterwards with the zone of interest quote that quote that again I said. with the fucking but quote. I'm saying, if you're re-realizing, if you keep re-realizing oh, stuff, oh, oh, oh. it's good for everybody. Okay. And so that's what I'm doing now about the boyoyoy. But you and, said it. <laughs> You can't be like, you know what's so true? The thing I said a couple episodes and ago. I, and, and, and now that is where I disagree. You can agree with yourself all day long. And you can tell people you agree with yourself all day no, long. No, here's, you do agree with yourself all day long. Yeah. But you sh you can't and should not. <laughs> you do it anyway, but you should not be doing that. Because then you're boring. You got a fucking huge ego. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Those two things or you're together. Or you're right. Yeah, right. So, right, right, there we right. go. But right, people right, with huge right. egos and people who are boring absolutely think they're always right. What if your name was Hugh Gigo? <clears throat> you know what I always think of? What if your name was Hugh Jassel? Oh. Right? Yeah. Hugh Jassel would be the most incredible name. In fact, that would be. I bet there is one person with the name Hugh Jassel. Hugh Jassel. Some spelling like J A S S L E or something yeah. like that, you know? We're off topic, but. Um, It'd be great. This guy. Uh, uh, you know, I, oh my I, God, Hugh Jassel, division director, waste consultant. He's a There's waste so consultant. There's so many people named Hugh Jassel. That's funny. He's a waste. <laughs> that's got to be a joke. That's got to be. That's a joke. That's a joke. It's no, on it's, LinkedIn. It's on LinkedIn. It's got to be a joke. Waste consultant shit. Hugh Jassel. <laughs> come on, no, no, no. Come on, please be real, dude. It, not, don't do me like that. I don't want to find out another mis thing like the. He's got a bunch of mutual connections with Anthony. Why? See more butts. Mutual friend. <laughs> um, my cock. Hmm. Mike Hunt. Yeah, you know. Gonna get the uh, everybody name. named Mike. Um, All right. Uh, yeah, I told you. There that. was remember? somebody on a... But remember when I said that? Dude, there's a bunch of huge assholes, no, period. That guy is from GTA. Yeah, this is remember, remember I said I, that, though? Damn it. Remember when I said that, though? What? The smell was good for evolution, and that's who you should procreate with? Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, uh, and I agreed with you, because that's you just a fact. Oh. Yeah. Good job. I mean, good. I'm I thought not like you, you're... I thought, you I thought when I said that... The yeah. first time you went like this. Oh. Oh, maybe, but it okay. makes total sense. Yeah, it's good. It's good. You knew that, though. Good job. Also, who the fuck's that guy? Maybe he's wrong, you know? Yeah, but I don't think he is. No, I don't think he is either. So you think if you had a baby with somebody that you didn't have that intoxicating smell with, that maybe it's a bad idea and they grow up and get like, uh, you know, no, what I cell. No, what I think is that it's not a hundred percent right it's either not. way I would, yeah. probably, I would think so too probably that would be crazy if it was if somebody smells good to you you're just like let's have kids you that know, would be insane you know what's crazy too is it would suck because people don't really have options you know i mean men women have options of men because men are idiots and men will just go to wherever they're liked kind of but women are like, no, I don't want that guy. 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 So that creates a lot of men that are like, I'll take whatever. I mean, talk about biology. That's how it fucking should be. Otherwise, it would not no, work it, at yeah, all. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, well, okay. I agree, but explain why it should be that way. Because it's it's just like the actual selection is 
is up to women in a, in a, like a perfect world because men are what's the word they're 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 not posing not like they're putting out some lie although they sometimes often do right. but they're basically presenting themselves as best they possibly can mm. for women to do the selecting mm. in a civil human society but right. that's true all the way down to fucking birds like you watch birds in the wild right. they're like fucking doing the fucking big dance yeah, yeah, and the yeah. women are just like right bye and then the right. guy's like, fuck, he's got to take his whole house down. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. It's right. just true top to bottom. But uh, that's all I meant, yeah. Huh. Huh. So you think... Uh-oh, Chris is thinking again, guys. I'm just about Chris to is thinking hard again. No, I'm just about to realize something again. About real stuff. No. Um, yeah, I just... I don't... Uh, it's, it's... Oh, wow. See, it's one or the other with you. If you think about real ass shit like biology or I the know, brain it's either like yeah whoa yeah or it's just like oh god oh no 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 i can't think about this no, no, no. it's just it's just um, it's just it, it it really hits me especially after watching zone of interest last night it's just like, wow zone of interest really fucking did a number on you it, it made me think of that it's just i'm like uh, it, it it almost like it's futile it's all futile like f-e-u-d-a-l or no, no, no. f-u-t-i-l-e both honestly but f-u-t-i-l-e mm. like you can't Humans don't change. They're not going to change. But it's the human enough to be that monster. From zone of interest, isn't it's all futile? So throw it, in the towel. No, it's not so throw in the towel. But it could be that it's that one of the points is is that it's futile. And this is human. No, it's people are capable of being this terrible. So don't be. That's yeah. the point of the zone of interest. Or people are capable. Human. It's in human nature to do this, no matter what. No, no, it's not no matter what. It's it's in human nature. It's in the big entire scope of human nature to possibly be this way. So be a different way is what zone of interest, the takeaway is. I mean, well, obviously there's a lot so, more than so that. So why, why is the point of it be a different way? How is the point of it be a different way? Well, it's not, it's not moralizing. That's one of the better things about the movie. It's that's not like you better not. But, but that's it's what presenting I'm this way. Sh- the guy gets, I mean, I don't want to give the no, fucking no, no, end of the away. movie yeah, away. Don't give it away. You know what I'm talking about? He gets like fucking retching and sick yeah. and he f- so that says it all. It's like, dude, if you live this way, eventually... The guy does a verp at the end. That's not that... He kills fucking millions of people. But it's he a just, movie. Goes, but it's a movie. Indigestion. It would suck if at the end he was like, what I did was so bad and I can't stand myself for it. But yeah, it's, but you're it's asking It's got to like, be subtle and interesting. He gets his comeuppance because he ate a fucking I didn't say comeuppance, dude. I didn't say comeuppance. You're asking what the movie's telling us. And I'm telling you. Okay? Let's do I another one. Know, what are we man. doing, dude? Let's do another one. <laughs> The fucking shit sucks. We keep talking about zone of interest. Like we're Siskel and Ebert. I'm going to go ahead and say this is the best podcast we've ever done. Okay. I don't agree. You don't, huh? No. We'll see. Because we, we talk about zone min- of interest for uh, half uh, the right, fucking right, time right, so far. It's an overarching theme about what it is. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, put a shirt what on. What up, dudes? Um, Army Wrench. Just watched the latest episode of Lifeline oh, and what? had a thought around what you guys were saying about oh, okay. the expiration date for films. Ah. Um, I fully agree. I would never watch anything beyond the 1980s, maybe. Wow. Um, that's uh, that's Army way right. like Like Days of Confused and uh, that other one. That other one. Uh, with our own detention and shit. Um, Whoa. But the dumbest man alive. Marcus I feel like you don't really get that with music, do you? Like music can go back as... Uh, as the 1920s, and I'll still listen to it, like old school blues music. Um, what about the 1600s? Mozart, baby. I feel like a lot of people are into tunes from the 60s and 70s. Um, well, this guy's got Floyd, tiny brain all that there. shit. <laughs> um, Just a tiny Timeless, brain. really. So what's the difference between that and film? I, I, oh, that's actually a good question. Thoughts. Cheers. I don't think there is. That's I, a good I, question, I, but your time frame is so I, off. You go only go back to the 80s and movies and only go back to the 20s and music? Movies that ca- what about music that came out? What about like single 80s came out in 2012? <laughs> Can't listen to that anymore, can you? <laughs> uh, so I take back him having a tiny brain. It's just you got to go further back on both forms of art. Music doesn't end in the 1920s. Movies certainly don't end in the 1980s. I mean, it only goes back as there far wasn't as much Fletch, before you know? Home Alone. I mean, idiot, um, you know? What? Idiot. There wasn't much before Home Alone. A child. I, uh, don't, I don't listen to music. Well, period. No, I think he, here's the very plain and obvious difference. Technologically, yeah, yeah. music has advanced a lot, but it's still the same instruments, same types of instruments, right. basically. Right. 
obviously vocals came in at a certain point and like synths yeah. and shit like that electronic stuff uh-huh. movies the tech is has advanced so much more yeah, we're basically you could say, in the movie now. and in a way more condensed of a period of time mm-hmm. if you look at the jazz singer the first talkie whatever you want to call it 1927 to now mm-hmm. that's like the entire history of of movies with words in them mm-hmm. music you go back again mozart and fucking even way before and it's like it's close enough ish to what we have as music now mm-hmm. you look at fucking old ass silent movies they're basically like completely different fucking yeah. things than the Avengers or whatever the fuck. Oh man, imagine. Imagine yeah. the Avengers silent film in, ni- in 1910. Imagine showing the Avengers to a film audience in 1927. They would just like no, it, pass they'd, out. They'd be like this. All right, here we go. And they start the movie. They start the movie. Like yes, completely. <laughs> completely. <laughs> completely. That Before is exactly, shows up. That is exactly what would happen. You know that story about uh, the yeah. the great train robbery, the, the Lumiere brother. They showed the Lumiere brothers. Legend, it's the legend has it that they showed an audience a movie of just a train yeah. coming at the camera. Yeah, and the audience members of the audience w- went running, screaming, thinking a train was coming at them. I would have too. Movies just have a different place in our brains than music. Right? I would have too. You think so? Yeah. I don't even know if I believe that. Come on. You I thought a fucking it. train was there? You're not near a train. You didn't think a train was there, but you, you your were, brain got fucked no, up. No, it's not even that. You were like, just in case. Uh, just in case I'm going to run. I think It's not going to happen, but... I think movies actually fuck with people's brains in a way that it makes me... I agree with you, but for a different reason. I think people saw it and then didn't think, oh, a train's going to hit me. They were just like... Reacting. In their brain, it was Mid-brain. like train. Yeah. Amygdala was like, wah, wah, wah. And mm. they just reacted. So, we're scientists. But it, and, you know, your amygdala goes, wah, wah, wah. And then yeah, you yeah. run. Yeah. That's what that's me as a scientist. Yeah. So your amygdala goes wah 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 right here with a pointer. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Next one. Wow. These are really stacked to the gills, Marco. Yeah. Where do you go, Marco? Hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. This is Craig from Lake Stevens, Washington. Should have a radio so show. So I was just listening to Trim Your Hershey Bars, and I was thinking about <laughs> how people actually wear Apple Vision Pros in public. Oh, really? How absolutely out to lunch do you have to be to think that that's fucking normal to be seeing augmented reality just at the coffee shop? I I feel like it's an exaggerated version of the having a speakerphone conversation in public like no one can hear you. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, It just hits absolutely wrong to me. Anyways, just wanted to say, long time baby, been watching all Dalia content that I can since Whitney and Undateable. Wow. So love the show, guys. Keep it up. Thanks. Thanks, Bye. bud. Since your little home videos that your dad were just like, what? He's got fucking footage of us <laughs> as three and six year olds. Um, yeah, I don't think they think it's normal, though, is the only thing I would say. I think that they think it's fucking cool and it's like a kind of flex. Yeah, or, now, they, or they don't care. In a few years, it'll be different. Yeah, you better get used to it. Yeah, exactly. But I think right now when people do that, it's like they're just like, yeah, I'm gonna wear my fucking expensive ass shit out. Never gonna see me. They either think it's cool or they think oh, I'm gonna suck it up and it may be dorky, but this is feel it's awesome, you know. Yeah, but if you're the latter, like, just don't leave the house with it. Like, what do you need to be doing out there? I guess so. I mean, unless you want to experience it outside, because you can still see. I guess you know, you know what? I don't even know enough about it. Honestly, you know, you know, you see what you see, but you still can do whatever you do on a computer. Yeah, like the goggles show you what's in front of you. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? They don't actually show you what's in front of you. Oh. They well, are um, recreating what's in front of you. Did you know that? Like your brain does? That's what your brain, that's your eyes well, yeah, do. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, really? Uh-huh. uh-huh. Why? Because it's seeing it and the cameras are making it be what it is. It's not oh, dude, glass. Oh, that's crazy. That's yeah. like what your eyes actually yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. How interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be like this. Rest, you do the rest of the episode. I'll be like this. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. I really got mad with that one. Okay. Um, I don't. Was that even a question? What was that? No, he was saying, how annoying is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's got, annoying, gonna but get used it to it. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's fucked, dude. I watched that, that show, Three, three Body Problems. I watched problem. that show, Zone of Interest, and... How, no, three, three Body Problem, you know? What's that? It's that one about AI, and it's, I guess it was a book that some, I think, I think Chinese guy wrote. What's it called? Three body problem. Oh, it, maybe I have heard it's of that. It's the worst title for anything That's I've ever heard. Terrible, yeah. But it's a it's a show on Netflix now, and um, it's just all about AI and aliens, and it's pretty three crazy. Um, 
Oh, and, it's a scripted thing. Got yeah, it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh, it's, Isaac Gonzalez is in it. Yeah, yeah, our favorite. Uh, yeah, she's in that, and uh, there's some good acting and some bad acting. And what a review! What a review! And there. Some, oh, it's the guys that made. Fu- the, yeah, that's why everybody cares Lord about it. The it's Rings. the guys that created the show uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, Lord of the Rings! I said same thing. Game of Thrones. Oh, people um, don't like it, huh? Oh, do they not? Uh, oh, four out of five. Never mind. That's good. It's it's, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing because I don't think this is a bad thing. It's so boring. And I watched really? the whole thing. I watched the whole thing. Yeah. So why would you watch the whole thing, and why do people like it? If it's you so know boring? why I watched the whole thing, because no, there's one reason. Oh, okay. Well, because my, my buddy said, apparently, the ending is oh. crazy. Uh, he said apparently, like he doesn't even know. He didn't know. And you took someone else's word for it vis-a-vis him and you know that what, was a dude, mistake it wasn't even something that was crazy so i was like oh no i watched eight episodes of this shit damn people invest so much time in television now eight i just hours. don't get it dude eight you gotta hours. like the whole thing you can't be like oh but if you stick with it for two and a half seasons you're really gonna love it. like fuck that dude i got other shit well, to do i agree except for if it's a one see if it's one season or a whole movie or something or so whole you know, it's a little... Uh, a movie is whatever. It's just o- it's over mm-hmm. before you watch it all in one fucking day. A show? That's too much of a time commitment to be like, you got to stick with it, man. Fuck Eight that. Eight episode show, is it? Be, yeah. be good earlier. Show. Yeah. You know? All the shows I've ever really, truly loved didn't like take a while to get into it. What is that? Why do people yeah. think that's like a, an okay ask well, of so, audiences? So, I, I, okay. I think that sometimes if a show takes its time setting things up yeah it can be that much better in the end i agree but taking its time doesn't mean not good taking its time just means it's slow right but that's why i'm saying being boring is not bad right but boring i think you're saying the same thing as me but boring has a negative, a negative connotation. connotation yeah being I guess slow I'd like to is different that. yeah slow is boring slow is can fun. be good yeah boring because to me boring is not i have boring friends that interest the shit out of me are they really boring well, or, I think that not? you're someone that doesn't really get bored. And right. I think that's why true. you're using the word in a way that, that most people true. don't yeah, think I of don't it. Get bored. You know? I don't get bored either. I haven't been bored since I was a kid. I haven't been bored since mommy's belly. I, I literally bored. haven't been bored since I was inside dad's Grandpa balls. Grandpa Bam's balls. I, I have, I, Grandpa Bam I was born. I haven't been born. Oh. Bored. I haven't been born? I haven't been bored since the Big Bang. Wow. I can't top that. That's the beginning of time. All right, what's next? Anthony's asleep, you know. (laughs) Hey, guys. Big fan of the podcast. Uh, Chris, I just saw you whenever you came to Shreveport, Louisiana. Cool. Um, And at the meet and greet, I had told you how much your wife meant to me and how big of an inspiration she was to me as a wife and a mom. And um, afterwards, I was kind of kicking myself, thinking, like, maybe I should have been more lighthearted and, like, funny, joking around no. with you. Um, and I don't know if you preferred having more serious, meaningful interactions with fans or if you like it to stay lighthearted and fun. So um, I want to know from both of you guys, when you see fans out and about, do you want it to be, That's you know, question. joking and funny? Or do you like it whenever it's more serious and meaningful? Um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks. I mean, I got to say, and this is kind of sounds like a cop out, but it's not. I, I Both of them are both of them are good. Oh, some, uh, Actually, uh, now that I think about it, if I think what the person is saying is true, if I think what they are saying is true for themselves then I appreciate it. So if, if it means a lot to you and you say this to me and I believe you, then I like that. If, you, if, 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 it, if your truth is that, oh, this was so funny, that bit, that, and that's all it is, I appreciate that. I, well, we do different things. Yeah. But for me, it's absolutely preferable when people are serious about mm-hmm. a thing. Uh, I don't mean like, you know how much you've changed my life and da 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 bullshit but like i think a seriousness implies a you're not going to be very annoying to me yeah well that's a because huge... when you come up and try to be funny with me about something that i either i did or happened on this <sighs> yeah. show or whatever like 
that's probably going to not be that funny when you do it. I guess I just... I, so I'd rather you be like, hey, I love this and that, whatever, like you... It doesn't... Whatever. I took thing. it as... I took it as something different as like, hey, uh, it means a lot to me. Your comedy means a lot to me. This and that means a lot to me, yada, yada. Versus, uh, oh, bro, that bit was so funny. The former is better, right? Both, is what are, I'm both saying. are good. Oh, okay. But yeah. but but if it's you doing a bit with me, no, that's a never I want to do that. But well, I guess what I'm saying is the latter is much more likely to be that. Yes. So more frequently, the former is better. Yes, yes. Okay, I, yeah, yes. Yeah. We all agree on all fronts, and that's great. Right. Do you understand? Drop a comment below. Yeah, great. Do you, you get it, right? Anthony, do you get what we're saying? Yeah. Oh, I was fucking. dead asleep, dude. And, was fucking dead asleep. And was so nervous about farting. <laughs> and and when we said his name, he goes, yeah. And he felt so much like heat in his heart and a little bit of fart came out. And he goes, oh, fuck, I did it. But for real, head. though, was dead asleep. Heard his name and just went, yeah. <laughs> Didn't know what we said, just yeah. heard his name. Um, these submissions are fine they're not bad that was a good one that they're they're not bad it is it's unreal that Mako you really hang, hung guilt. up on that yeah really <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it's unreal it's pretty unreal like what the fuck was he what talking about dude? you know what i think he was doing you know what i think he was doing what i think he was doing that because he wanted to make up for the fact that he's not here yeah. today yeah, yeah, of course. I, I knew that from mother the second it it fucker, yeah, dude. motherfucker, yeah. You actually think that? I thought that I thought that this whole time, yeah. Did you think that when he said it yesterday? No, 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 no. I thought that's he was some deep I knew thought that that's he was some being uh, uh, truthfully I thought he was being honest. So did and, I. And in reality he was lying. We can't trust him. He was uh, just plain old lying. He knew he was doing it. Yeah. You think he knew he was uh, doing no, it? No, 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 no. I don't think that. You think you don't think he well, knew it? It doesn't make it better. I don't uh, think uh, 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 it doesn't say here nor there. It doesn't make it better to to not have in his been subconscious like, his diabolical subconscious about it. Just kicked in overdrive. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta kick my ass. What? Right now. A fucking unknowing piece of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We'll do one more. Maybe it's the best one ever. Let's do one more in here and see if it's great. Jesus Christ is Jesus. That's oh, the same guy who did the poo. Oh, Chris and Rat. I I had to stop. I'm in the middle of your of your podcast right now, episode 101. And you guys are talking. Chris was saying something and Matt didn't respond. And then Matt Matt you were like, "Yeah, I don't need to respond." Oh. And then Chris was like, "That's how conversations work." Yeah. And Huge. it was wild to me because Matt, I usually agree with Huge you. Huge in our family. What was he talking about? I know. That is how conversations Listen, if no, I'm no, like, "Oh, I want to go see a movie." It did. So my wife, I want to go see that movie. <laughs> What's it? Uh, uh, Godzilla minus one. Let's just say, oh, I, I want to go see Godzilla minus one. And then she just like blank stares right, at yeah, me. Yeah, right. You do that. Right. And then goes like, "What do you want to have for dinner tonight?" You do that. Uh -huh. I would be like, "Did you hear me?" Yeah. Yeah, but you didn't say, "Do you want to go see?" I want to, it? I want to go see that movie. Oh come on, man. And she would probably be like, <laughs> "Yeah, I heard you. It just, just I, it doesn't need a response." What? It's a conversation. Yeah, I agree. It's you not that good of a conversation, I guess. What the it's person not, said, even with like no a, oh, hey, I, I want to go see that movie. Oh yeah, cool. Okay. And then, uh, wait, wait, what, by the way, what do you want to do for dinner tonight? That's how you segue, or that's Whatever. how you bring up what you want to bring up. You don't right. just well, that don't agree. say anything. That's like narcissistic it's a bit of stuff. A codependence thing. For oh, I don't me have to respond. Yeah, you don't have to. Right. But if you want to be I a won't. normal person in a regular conversation, I don't in the want to be a normal person. You normally will just put a button on it, as Chris said. Anyways, I love you both. That's my two cents on it. No question. Uh, he keeps doing that. I don't like it. He did that before? Uh, yeah, he did that in the poop video, remember? He did a poop video? He did a kiss oh, that was thing. him? I was thinking about... In fact, I hated it so much when he did this. I was thinking about it on a day we weren't even here. I was like, Man, like <laughs> that fucking guy did that thing when he signed off. He went, I'm talking about this shitting. No the way. Shower. You yeah, thought dude. about him not during this? It might have been this morning. because I was th Probably because so I was funny. thinking about the show, actually. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, I mean, look. Honestly, he makes a better case for it than you do. So when you say it, what? I don't really agree with you, but he, I kind of agree with what he just said. Well, that's what I said. But I don't, what, what was it? Do we remember what it was? No, 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 no. But we, we talk about, it's something that our family talks about sometimes. It's but about. But it, it's, it's, see, I, it's more nuanced than that. It's not like if you were like, hey, Matt. No, it is more nuanced than that. Yeah. I want to see X movie. And I'm just like. It's different. Then yeah, sure. Obviously it's that's different dick. than saying, man, it's hot in here. And you not saying anything to that. Okay. Then you don't you don't necessarily have to be like I don't think so. Right. Or, yeah, it is. Yeah. But but 
beyond that example, so what, let's you kind of got to put a button let's on Let's find it. the line then. Like, what? where's the line? Mm. What is okay. just okay. under the threshold? If I bring up, oh, I saw Zone of Interest last night. Uh-huh. And you don't say anything after that is crazy. Agree. That's dad com- would do that. You would do that. Well, oh, no, that okay. But even if that's true, where is the threshold of? I bought a really cool hoodie yesterday. You, you. <laughs> no, but I wouldn't do it about that though. Let's like uh, what I'm trying to do is establish. I think you would. Where? All right, for, for, it's the a personal line journey. Is. It's a personal thing. What do you mean? It's different for everybody. Yeah. Well, obviously, if it's different for everybody, then why do you have a problem with where my line is? Because you know me. But I have to care about... No, you don't technically, but it's nice. (laughs) All right, next time it happens, bring it up. Okay, but it doesn't happen as much with you as it does with dad. Well, dad is just like... Dad is like fucking a gangster about it. I know. You know what? I would have used the same exact word to yeah, describe he's it. he's a fucking just straight up mobster. He it's didn't fucking like, ask. He yeah. didn't ask me a question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You said yeah. a statement. You put yeah. a question at the end, I'll answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You totally. don't? Yeah. I don't got to do nothing. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing to nobody unless you ask a question for me. And even if you do, I got to respect you. Fuck, That's why that. is he like that? I don't know, he's man. He's always been like that. It's oh, it's very true. He's such a gangster. Dude. I mean, we'd be driving, hop in the car. Oh, it's really, it's really, really cloudy, yeah. dad. Yeah. <laughs> I hey, know. you see it's really cloudy or what? Yeah. This is what, you know, look. And he's just. What is that? I don't know. I don't know, but I've thought it was weird since Jump. Dude. Yeah, it is weird. I mean, it's not. I, I I get why he doesn't have feel like he has to say something. But what the fuck is going through you his mind? You technically don't. Yes. Right? Yeah. You technically don't have to say something. Yeah, because like I don't. It doesn't bother me, though. It bothers you when it he does me. that. It doesn't bother me when he does that. Because I'm what? just like, he doesn't give a fuck. Who cares? You don't. But but it's, it, it. you know, here's how it's gangster for me. Are you disrespecting me? That makes you a gangster. That's though. what I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I decide to say something. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, we're then, in a car together i say something i think all these things i only say some of them mm-hmm. here you go here's one of them and you you got the audacity mm-hmm. to not even reciprocate hey i'm gonna put your head in a vice yeah well that is a you sleep problem. with the fishes that is a you problem do you know what i mean like if you're coming at it like that then you have the problem is now back again on you i like, can imagine if i was a mobster people would have stories about me like that like you don't want to fuck with Dalia. You, you, you know about chrissy d chrissy Dalia? chrissy d you know no. a fucking little twink that gets passed around <laughs> on prison playground time you know you know you know big big nuts chris big nuts chris <laughs> dude just the least creative porn star name that would be the best <laughs> You imagine? Let me tell you something. If Big Nuts Chris was a porn star, oh man, that's true, it would be actually. the only male porn I watch. <laughs> James and Dean, I'm not gay, and you'd get it. Yeah, John you, Holmes. Yeah, no, Big, Big Nuts, Nuts Chris. <laughs> also, the first name makes it funnier. Like if it was Big Nuts Johnson. Yeah, it wouldn't. No, that would no, make no, no, more no, no. sense. Big Nuts Chris is great. Big Nuts Ted. To be like, oh yeah, big big tits, and like, oh hell yeah, like ooh ooh chicks who do this, or oh yeah that kind of, and they'd be like. Big Nuts Chris. I gotta click on this. Like, you would. I would. Oh, uh, gay. First of all, gay. And I'd be honest, even if it was a solo thing. But, <laughs> but um, <laughs> bouncing around on him like one of those things. Dude. Um, I, what were we talking about? Right. What were we talking about? Dad, dad. Dad, yeah. But people have stories about me if I was a mobster. And they would say, Oh, right, yeah. They would say, uh, Yeah, you don't want to fuck Big Nuts Chris. Big Nuts Chris, he, he, he sure was a motherfucker one time. He, he put a guy's head in a vice. Because he didn't respond to one of something he said. And we were talking about it. He said, thought it was disrespectful. He said there were so many things going on in his mind. He only picks a few. And if he's gifting one to you verbally, you got to reciprocate that with an answer. Everybody would be terrified of you. There you go. But they don't want to kill you because they're scared of you. Right. For that reason. And then someone would kill you and then you'd be dead at 43. You can't be that much of a wild card, you know, as a mobster. Because when you're that much of a... What the fuck are you looking at me like that for? Why were you so surprised when I opened a can of something? It was the the timing of you opening that can oh. after what you said was very funny. Really? Yeah. And I, and I, I it got went unnoticed. I thought about bringing it up, but then it's not in the microphone, so I don't know if people are gonna go. And it was just very very funny. Okay. Well. 
Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can't be that much of a wild card. I know. You're right. You got to have people like you as much right. as, as well as respect you. Otherwise, they're going to kill you. So is it more about living your whole life as much as you can, or is it more about living beyond I think it's about your not, legend? Not being a mobster, because being a mobster would be the most stressful thing in the fucking world. God, I don't know how people do that. It would be so stressful. First of all, you're doing illegal shit all the time. You're going to get caught and go to jail. That's the point. Stressful. Second of all, you're keeping it from everybody in your normal life, ostensibly, I would imagine. So also fucking so <laughs> stressful. Third of all, people work under you if you're like a boss or some kind of capo in some way or another. You're fucking always thinking about how badly they want to replace you and kill you or just want you to die. Like, don't do mobster shit. Do other shit. You don't even make that much money if you're in the mob, dude. It's Unless also you're at the very fucking top. Hard. It's nonstop, dude. You got to do this at fucking 2 a.m. for that fucking guy. You got to fucking... You're always on call. Yeah, you can like, never be like, oh, but I'm sick. Like, get a job at Crate Get a and regular Barrel. job, dude. Work at Ikea. Why the fuck are you in the mob? Have kind of the same life, but no stress and nobody's trying to kill you. Yeah, dude. And more pots. Better. You know what it is, though? Because all of that's true, it has to be people still become... You know, get involved in gangs because they fucking want to. Yeah, they the, want to have that part of their romanticize, shit. Romanticize, but also they just want to be illegal motherfuckers. Yeah, they want to. They want to have. Yeah, it's it's a cult. It's the culture, dude. It's, it's like a deviant thing. Deviated. It's like a deviated <laughs> septum. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um. All right. That's it. Saginaw and Grand Rapids. I'll be there soon. I'll be in uh, Charleston and or North. I don't even know where I'm going to be. Chattanooga, Augusta. Um, in different places go to chrisley.com to get tickets also go to patreon.com slash lifeline luxury uh, to really get into the weeds here uh, of our of yeah our, you think this was yeah, the weeds yeah we get into the weeds dude that, dip. he's deep into beans is what I should have said but anyway um, so that's it yeah The uh, get tickets to the fucking right, so live show wait. get tickets to the live show in Irvine on May, May 14th right yes get tickets May 14th the live show Irvine Improv where you can come see us live at, do Lifeline Live I clap like this now. It's so taxing on my fucking pecs, dude. Oh.